Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to do a little painting, a little four and a half square painting. It's a conch shell, and I'm using a photo by Lee Newton from Paint My Photo, and I will put a link below to that. And we're just doing a basic sketch here. Um, I'm starting with this kind of triangular shape down here at the bottom, and then we got this kind of hooked around shape, and it's kind of coming up a little point up here and then like a crescent around. I'm drawing with a um, just a watercolor pencil. There, I want to make sure that I have that as the two separate parts. Okay, and um, yeah, I just wanted to basically get um, get the basic shape in here. I know it doesn't look like much yet, but bear with me. I'm just using a water brush and I've got my core watercolors over here, but you can use whatever watercolors you want or even um, you could even just use your basic, um, you know, your watercolor pencils. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to start in with a little magenta. Now that's way too bright, but watch, I'm going to add a little bit of um, this, uh, I think this is raw umber. I'm not sure, I just squeezed the new core watercolors I bought out in my palette, um, and I d should have taken a Sharpie, and maybe I will do this, uh, I should have written exactly what that was on there. So I'm toning this with a little bit of pink, but you can see just by taking that super bright magenta, and that's why I always start, you know, when I'm, I always start with the brighter colors, because it's easy to make the brighter colors um, more dulled down. So like, I could take a little bit of that brown, grab a little magenta, and I can just get that beautiful kind of Caribbean pink color that I just love. Now I'm going to be, this is going to actually be framed in a frame that I am going to show you how to paint. It's an altered project um, that I'll be sharing on my YouTube channel in a couple days and on my blog too. So you'll want to make sure you stick around for that. Now sometimes it's fun just to take something like a nice simple project like this. Um, this is uh, one of the big reasons I th really encourage you guys to bring your little set of watercolor paints or some or a set of watercolor pencils, something like that, on vacation with you because it's so nice just to be able to stop, take a break, maybe while the kids are swimming and you're watching them, just to you know do a quick little watercolor sketch. I'm gonna try some of this gold and uh, I think this is quinac quinacridone gold. Add some of that in there. And you know, water brush is perfect if you're you know painting out and about. I want to add a little bit of blue, and I think I'm going to go with this uh, cerulean. I think it's what I think that's cerulean. Like I said, brand new to these uh, to these paints here, and I didn't write down the names. But go ahead and use whatever closest color you have. It does not have to be the exact same color. You may prefer um, different shades, but I just love how you know. Basically, I have yellow. I've got a red. I've got a blue. Right. So. As long as you keep your values right, these are very pale colors, as long as you keep them washy and light like that, it's going to be fine. Now I could even make up a little bit of a purplish color there. I don't have a lot of rum in my palette as you can see. I squeezed everything into one palette just so I could have them all together and see how they how they mixed and blended. But um, you know, I usually have prefer a bigger palette with a bigger mixing area, but hey, you know what? Do what you want to do. Nothing's perfect. Whatever works for you is just fine. I am so ready. Can you tell I'm ready for summer? <laughs> Is that abundantly clear yet? <laughs> We're gonna paint seashells. I can't wait. We need some summer. That song we need a little Christmas. Uh, we need to have like one that's need a little summer right this very minute, right? <laughs> At least that's the way I feel. Okay, now I want to put a little bit of um Maybe like a little bit of sand and water here. So what I'm going to do is just simply wet my paper. Now what I'm, I'm working on Fabriano Rough. Now let me see if I flip it over. I think, because I had a mistake sketch there, it didn't work very well. Um, has a little bit more texture than a cold press. It's um, still a really nice paper to work on. I like, especially if I'm doing a quick sketch, I think the rough paper adds so much to the texture and to the look of it that you don't really have to put a lot of detail in, it's like the roughness of the paper does a lot of that. Now I'm just going to hint at the blue water, and you'll see what I mean, there's really not a lot of blue here, and you'll see what I mean if you go check out that photo, and that it's completely free to join Paint My Photo, it's a great resource where our, uh, photographers share their work with, for artists to paint with no worry about copyright, and then artists can use the paintings however they want, of course the photos do remain um, copyright to the artist, so if you're a photographer and you're considering um, 
you know, posting some of your work there for artists to paint from, don't worry, you'd still retain the copyright. It's just a great um, kind of like collaboration between artists and photographers. I just, I can't say enough about the site. It's one of my favorite places on the web. And, you know, as someone who doesn't get out much, <laughs> it's great to be able to find those, uh, those reference photos. Okay, now what I have here is kind of it's kind of too all one tone so nothing is really standing out so what I need to do is add a little bit of darkness around the shell now if I squint and look at the shell I could see that it is um, that is the water is a little bit darker than the shell especially in certain areas so I'm taking a little of that cerulean and a little of that I think it's burnt um, I might even be burnt I don't think it's burnt I think it's like a raw umber and I'm just adding in the shadow in the water and this is going to help carve it away from the um, from the water. It's going to help give it a little depth too. Um, you, you like I said, use whatever watercolors you have. I've just been really enjoying my core watercolors lately, so I'm using them. I like uh, a blue and an orangey brown as far as like making my neutrals and my shadows. Burnt sienna and ultramarine are my favorite uh, way to make brown. But, you know, as long as you have something similar, you can do the same thing. I love the shadow there. I'm going to want a little bit stronger of a shadow right in here. You can see a little bit of the back part of the shell, and I want to make sure that's nice and dark. And also, I need a little more shadow in there. It really sculpt the shape of the shell, otherwise it's going to be confusing as to what it is. And, you know, you just kind of build these details as you go around with the little spikes on the edge of the shell. But this is really meant to just be kind of a quick beachy study. You can see as things dry you can add more definition. You can add more ridges and defined areas and if you get an area that's too um, too defined you can go over with a wet brush after and smooth it out a little bit so don't worry about that. Now I feel like I want some in the photo this water kind of like going this 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 uh, shell is kind of sitting in the water and there's water going in so I want to make that clear and I'm going to add so I'm wetting the area now this is a Niji water brush you do have to squeeze it to make the water flow unlike the Primas where the water just kind of feeds out gen uh, naturally so some brushes have different characteristics like that some feed out naturally and some you have to squeeze uh, I need a little bit more color back here I feel like help break that apart. We only used four colors I think. That's pretty good. Still feel like I need a little more definition here. A little bit of the beachy, just, just right on the edge of the beach there. A little more water will help the eye help the believability of this being in the water. I think I'll grab my credit card scraper to add a little line of definition between the shell and the, um, and the water because I feel like it's really getting lost there. And I feel like it needs to be a little bit darker, but I feel like it needs to be kind of pink and darker. And the thing I do like about these paints, and I'm not trying to talk you guys into buying them, but um, I, it does seem like even though I'm working on the small area, this, these small little wells in my palette, I feel like they're not contaminating each other. I let the little drops of paint dry, and I feel like I can keep, I can keep getting back into it without it um, contaminating and wasting the paint that I've squirted out because I'm I really I hate to waste anything um, especially how you know expensive you know how expensive art supplies can be you want to make sure that you're getting your money's worth and you're not you know wasting any of it a little bit of that yellowy color to there Oh yeah, we use some of that gold. Let's try some of that gold and some of that pink. Let's see what kind of warm color we get with that, because that might be enough to break us away from the background a little bit. There we go. That's looking kind of good now. I think I'm going to need to let it dry, though, and then uh, 
go back in with final details. Feeling mellow this morning. It's a uh, Saturday morning. I've got to go to the grocery store. I, I absolutely cannot put it off. I have to get some concessions to donate for the kids play tonight and I don't have time to bake anything nor do I have the skill really to bake anything um, so definitely got to go to the grocery store let's pause it let's let this dry I'm just gonna hit it with the heat gun we'll come back and we'll add the finishing touches okay I dried it I think I want to actually go in with my pencils here so I can kind of draw in uh, some details and these are the aquatone I'm not sure if I mentioned it really at the beginning of the video I like these a lot I only have this set of 12 uh, I wouldn't mind a larger set, getting a larger set, except for the fact that they duplicate the first 12 colors in the set of 24, so I might see if I can find them open stock somewhere, because I do like them. They're more like, a, they're kind of like right in between a watercolor crayon and a watercolor pencil, so they're a little softer than a pencil, they release a lot of color, but they're not quite as opaque and soft as a pencil. So I can really get in there, I feel like, and add details without kind of compromising the transparency of my painting, if that makes sense. I know some of you, it's, you're going to be like, oh yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Some of you are going to be like, oh, I don't have a clue, Lindsay. Um, but I just wanted, I felt like I needed to define my lines a little bit more here and there. And this is the color we originally sketched with, so I want to kind of go in there and just kind of tie that together a little bit. Add a little bit of that color throughout so I don't have that only on the outline and still feel like I want something a little bit darker. None of the paints I used were terribly dark, so I just felt like I needed to carve that out a little bit more. And right around here too, just to give it that edge that I felt like I lost. All right, now let's go ahead and liquefy that. There, I, could, I just feel like I have a little bit more of a substance there. And you don't have to liquefy everything if you like the way the lines are and you want to keep them um, definite, you can do that. I'm liquefying some parts just because I feel like they're a little harsh. Just like that. So what do you guys have planned this weekend? Anything good? Baseball practice starts next week. I can't even believe it. It's like we still have a foot of snow on the ground, but... We've lost a lot of snow this week. It was three feet of snow on the ground last weekend, so I can't complain. Now, another thing I can kind of do, um, it'd be better if I had a bucket of water and a scrubby brush, but I can um, redefine my edges just by lifting paint and kind of pushing it out. So if you do find yourself in a situation like that where you seem to have lost a lot of your edges, so you can kind of scrub them out and lift them up, and I think that really helps too. Um, make it look good. Really, your scrubber brush is your best bet. This is not the best thing to do for your brushes, so um, I just don't have my water bucket full right now. I just had to clean it out because I'm in, this is actually the only space in my work table I have to work on downstairs. I have um, a big project going on and it's just like overtaking my entire space. But I don't have to scrub too hard on that. These lift, the aqua tones lift really well. I think the core lift pretty well. I thought somebody told me they stained, but I'm not having any trouble with them staining. I'm gonna add a little water to that blue. Also, I thought adding that extra blue pencil would, um, since I don't have too many colors going on yet, would help kind of divide what's water and what's the shell. Help make it look a little bit more um, realistic. Okay, there we have that. I think that's looking pretty good. I still think I would like maybe a little bit more definition here and there. Um, let me see what I can mix for a dark with the colors I've already been using, so I don't have to put anything new to the mix. So if I, I think I can make a fairly dark color here. This with my blue in that kind of burnt umber color. Not burnt, probably raw umber. It's not that dark. I just want to add um, kind of those little spikes onto the, just the tip of the conch shell here. And probably somebody from the Caribbean or someplace where they actually have these shells would be like, Lindsay, that is nothing like it looks like, just like when people draw lighthouses, I'm like, that does not look like a lighthouse. <laughs> you know, that, that really only looks like it goes around halfway. <laughs> you know, it's just like, you, you get so used to your environment and you try, you know, you see somebody else trying to uh, paint something from your environment and it's, it's such a dead giveaway if they're not familiar with it. And I'm just adding a little bit of detail to the water. I just want to make sure that's kind of defined where the water's kind of coming in. 
there, add a little bit of shadow there, and you know, you could kind of fool with it as much as you want to get it exactly the way you want it, but this is pretty good for me. I'm just going to sign my initials here and call it good. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video, and until next time, happy crafting!